Hey guys, my name is Alex Cuff and this is Off The Cuff. Now, bringing you something a bit different today, uh, the first DLC pack for Pokemon Sword and Shield has just came out, the Isle of Armor, and uh, to celebrate this magnificent feat, I'm going to be exploiting my family in order to gain traction. Uh, so I'm joined by my sister Gabby. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a microphone? There's no camera going. Um, <laughs> Hand movements. Hand movements, exactly. <laughs> um, so basically what I've done is I've got my good friend Sam to draw up 10 Pokemon in his own style. Five of which are real and five of which are fake. I came up with some of the fake ones, he came up with some of the fake ones. Okay. When we reveal what they are, I'll, I'll give credit where credit's due. <laughs> and basically I'm going to be showing these to you and I'm going to have you guess which ones are real and which ones are fake. Okay. I was initially going to say I'm not going to tell you how many real and fake there are, but I just... Completely screw that <laughs> you up. You told me that ages ago anyway, so... Oh, okay. Um, so before we, before we begin properly, uh, what is your level of Pokemon knowledge? How much do you know about the, the franchise? Um, I played, like, a bit of one of the games. I think you gave it to me. I think you played you played Omega Ruby for a bit. And uh, um, me and my friend used to do those uh, quizzes online, seeing how many Pokemon you can name. Right. And she could name, like, millions, and I named, like, ten. So that's bad. So do you remember how far through Omega Ruby you got? <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't really play it for like to get. Well, didn't you? Say, didn't point. you say like you got? You kept getting lost. Yeah. <laughs> even, even though we owned the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire strategy guide. Yeah. <laughs> I had to come to you. Remember, I used to always bring a little DS down to you. To have yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how my knowledge lies. Yeah. Cool. We've delayed this long right, enough. Let's sweet. get right into it. Now these are alphabetical as well. I'll okay. Say. They're in order of alphabetically, so you can't get anything from that. This is the first one. <laughs> 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 So this is not a, a very um, expert animation. It's just little drawings. No, there's, there's little, <laughs> little cute sketches, like in drawn and done in uh, Sam's style. Do you know what it reminds you of? What does it remind Spike you? Spike from Land Before Time. Uh, no, is that what it's called? No, that, that's yeah, what it's called. Before yeah, Spike. Time. I think it's just the mouth. The, like when he always opens his mouth. It's, and he it's smiles. the mouth, and also sort of the shape of the yeah. body. So I can tell you this Pokemon's name. Its name is Appleton. <laughs> Can you see the is design inspiration? It's an apple pie. It's an apple pie, okay. It's an apple pie Pokemon. Um, this was introduced in the newest generation of Pokemon games, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Mm -hmm. um, which are which are based on the United Kingdom and England. Okay. It is a uh, grass type and it's also a dragon type. Okay. So that's a dragon. Okay. <laughs> um. there, are, there are many Pokemon that are dragon type that don't look like they should be dragons. Yeah, okay. It's just sort of the, the classification they give for, like, monster. Okay. A lot of the time. Um, would you like to hear um, the trivia facts that I've got for Appleton? I would love to. Alright, so this is in two parts. The first part is that it's actually quite smaller than you'd think it is. Um, that looks like it should be, like, you know, roughly human-sized. It's yeah. actually about half. Oh, so it's okay. something you can pet. Like oh. realistically, it could be a it could be a household pet. But I can also tell you, um, the the thing that this evolves from, it's basically just an apple with a little worm coming out of it, and the worm itself is the Pokemon. It's not the apple itself. Okay. And the reason it's dra that's why it's Dragon type because worm and also W Y R M worm is like a dragon. Okay. So that it's a pun, which is why it's a Dragon type. Okay. But like it evolves into this because like the worm presumably eats enough of the apple and then becomes. Okay. It expands. So, okay. I've given you quite a lot of facts. You'll get you'll get a similar amount of facts for all of them, whether they're true or not. Okay. And the ones that aren't, I'll be bald-faced lying. So, tentatively, do you think that Appleton is a real Pokemon, or something that came from the machinations of either mine or Sam's mind? See, normally I would say this is too, like... It's too crazy for you to make up, and then I remembered Sam did it. Yeah. So I don't, I can't really base anything. The other on thing that. to consider is it's Pokemon, and at the moment there are over eight hundred and ninety of them. Oh, okay. So um, there are oh. there are some on this list that seem like they shouldn't be real and aren't, and there are some also that seem like they shouldn't be real and are. Do I guess as we go, or at the end, do I? I'll, I'll, get, I'll uh, guess as you go, and when we get to the last. Se section. I'll let you switch up a okay. couple if you if you want to. I'm gonna say this is not a real. Pokemon. So you're saying this one isn't real? Yeah. Okay. So Appleton is not real. Okay. The second Pokemon of the day is that. Okay. This it's so. Do you want anything to comment that? What does it look like? A pirate ship wheel. Yeah. And then like the anchor of, of the pirate. That's exactly ship. right. So this Pokemon's name is Delmise. 
Okay. Uh, like, obviously, Demise and Delving into the Deep. Yeah, is where the name of expression comes from. Yeah. It is a ghost grass type. And grass? It, yeah. Okay. And it was, it came into, it was originated in the Alola region, which was based on Hawaii. Okay. Uh, the Pokemon itself isn't actually the anchor or the steering wheel, it's actually the seaweed. Okay. It's the, the grass seaweed itself, and it's sort of it sort of melds the two things together. That's how the anchor is able to move around. Okay. And I can also tell you that the seaweed that this is based on in real life, um, it, the common name for that seaweed is Dead Man's Fingers, okay. which also leads into the ghost inspiration of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So okay. yeah, that's that's Delmice. <laughs> Like like little little one eye and then and like then shattered the shattered eye. eye also kind of like an eye patch for a pirate. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, you can see how this is gonna be real difficult now, can't you? See, like my initial thing is like this is definitely a Pokemon. Like I'm that's that was your gut reaction. Yeah, but then it's just so clever. Like it's so clever. <laughs> I feel like Sam definitely thought of it. Like it's just so like everything is okay. just the eye patch. The so that's um <sighs> so that's. A, like, a compliment for Sam, but also yeah. an insult for the Pokemon developers. Yeah. <laughs> it's too clever for it to be an, an actual thing made by a full company. No, it's got to have been Sam. All the Pokemon I know, I didn't, like, I didn't really, I didn't know it had all of this yeah. background. Well, I thought it was just, this is like a little well, a lot of the, thing. Well, a lot of the really popular ones are from the original Pokemon games, and that's when the Pokemon designs could be really simple. Yeah. Because they had... They didn't, hadn't run out of ideas, basically. Yeah. In the last, like, I want to say three or four generations, they started getting, like, really specific with their inspirations for things. Okay. And that's where a lot of the really creative designs have come up. And that's also where the fun of this game comes up. So, real or fake? Real. You, you're going to say this is real. Yeah. Okay. And remember, at the end, you can yep. mix them up if you want. Okay, so the next one we have is this. Bit of a departure. This looks like one that already exists. It looks like what? One that already exists. It looks like one that already exists. Ex exists. That ghost thing, ghastly or something? It looks like ghastly. Oh, yeah. I've got one! It, it isn't ghastly. No, I know, but I, I remember you the You remember Pokemon. the name of it. That's really good. Um, this Pokemon's name is Don Dasma. Don Dasma. Yep. Okay. Um, so it's like a little ball of plasma. Oh, okay. Um, it's electric fire type. It originated in Unova, which is the Pokemon region that's based on New York City. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, no. Um, I can tell you some some facts about it. Um, so basically, when the people of the Unova region were building their region out, um, this was the first region to show like proper um, civilization in terms of like big cities and stuff. So they had a lot of power lines going through it. When they built the power lines, they uh, these Pokemon sort of moved in, if you want to call it that, and started like it, it, it felt comfortable in the power lines. Okay. And it started guzzling up the electrons that were in there, and they actually the output of electricity that it gives on consuming the electrons was more powerful than the actual electricity they initially had coursing through them. So they just kept the Dondasma in the power lines, and it's how they power their New York City. Oh, okay. Interestingly, also, the villains of this generation were all for, like, segregating Pokémon and humanity. Because they were like, you know, you can't do this to them, it's not fair, it's unjust, they're creatures, they deserve to be like, they can't be controlled. Yeah. Um, and Don Dasma was a part of it where they tried to siphon the power from the city to free the Don Dasma. Oh, okay. That was a, a side plot in one of the levels. Okay. I'm guessing that this one is real. This one's real? Yes. Any specific reason for that? I don't know, I just kind of... It's got a vibe. It's got a vibe? Just... Oh, I don't know. Yeah. No, no, it, vibes are good. Vibes yeah. are good, especially when I'm trying to overload you with information. I feel sometimes. like that there's no logic I can do, so I kind of just gotta go with my gut. I suppose, yeah. The first thing I think. Um. So here's the next one. Oh. Yeah. This one's. This one's. That looks like the starter for the re most recent one. The one with the Rowlet. Rowlet. That looks like the starter. It, 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 it's a, it's a bird. It's a. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I don't really remember what the starter looks like, it's just what my, yeah. my memory. Um, so this Pokemon is called Farfetch'd. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this is a normal flying type. Mm -hmm. uh, it originated in the first Pokemon region. Like, the reason why it's holding a leak is that <laughs> um, the design of this Pokemon seems to, appears to be based on an old Japanese expression. Which roughly translates to, a duck comes bearing bunching onions. Okay. And the the meaning behind that proverb is basically, it's for something that's surprising but also convenient. It's so so convenient. A, so, a, so a duck showing up with the garnishes for uh, when you want okay. to cook it. Like, okay. 
And that's also why it's called Farfetched, because you know, that, that yeah. seems a little bit surprising. <laughs> um, so what do you think? Real. I've Real? definitely heard of this Pokemon. Okay, so because when I said the name, you just lit up your yeah. face. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you've like been sprinkling around at uh, work just so I get confused at this moment, I've definitely heard of this Pokemon, so... You've heard me say the word Farfetch'd before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I just have a recollection of somebody saying All it. Alright, so you're going to say this one's real. Yeah. Okay, next up we have... This. Yikes. Yep. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. <laughs> imagine, imagine the, like, being chased by Jurassic Park, but it's got, like, a massive palm leaf on the end of the tail. Oh okay, so gosh. this is called Lindra. Okay. It is also a grass dragon type, and it originated in Sinnoh, which is the fourth generation of Pokemon games, and is, I, I believe, based on a part of Japan. I don't know. Oh, yeah. This is actually the pseudo-legendary in that game. Okay. And what that means is there's legendary Pokemon, but there's always usually a Pokemon that isn't a legendary, like you can find in the wild, but its stats are stronger than the majority of the others, and it's often harder to find, and it takes longer to evolve. Huh. Okay. It, they're, they're usually dragons, and this is it for that generation. Of, if oftentimes the Pokedex, it has like extra little tidbits that like don't seem to make sense for in-game, but they're more world-building, and could also be misinformation. This Pokemon's Pokedex entry in, I think, the sixth generation of games, so X and Y, it says that people people believe that if one of the smaller heads gets lost or cut off in some way, it will become the pre-evolved version of this Pokemon. Okay. So like a Hydra, where you cut off one of its head and more grow back. Yeah. You cut off one head and it will eventually become this again. Okay. Um... I think that this one is made up. Yeah? You think it's made up? I think so. Why do you think that's it? Um, you said, what generation did you say it's from? The Sinnoh, the fourth The gen. fourth one. I don't know, I, I think it just seems a bit more modern than that. A bit more modern? Like based off, I feel like that would be like a subconscious thing Sam would draw based off movies to see and stuff. Oh, okay. I don't know. Okay. So next up we've got... <laughs> <laughs> Because there's a lot of birds. <laughs> there's a lot of birds. Oh my god, it's like a platypus? It's a platypus, yeah. I had to have at least one Australian design from the games in here. Okay, but it will never be as good as Perry. I'm sorry. It, it does resemble Perry. A lot of people have pointed <laughs> that out. There were a lot of memes really? when this thing was revealed, <laughs> equating it to Perry the platypus. This is Platypunch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, water type starter in the most recent Pokemon games. Yep. And uh, th and those are based on England, mm -hmm. but obviously it's a platypus, which is Australian. And I think the reason that they made that distinction is because when they discovered Australia and they found the platypus, they took it back to England, and they were, well, not all of them, but they, they took it back to England to show the king. And the king was like, this is not a real animal. <laughs> is this actual? Yeah, this is, this is legitimately true. Like. They, they, they showed the king this the platypus and they no one believed it was a real animal because it had a duck bill, a beaver tail, and like it, oh it, it just didn't look real. So I think that's why this is in England. Yeah. Even though like Australia has so m much unique f flora and fauna that it could be its own region. Yeah. But this will probably be in that region as well. Um, so it's the water type starter. It's water fighting type. Okay. This Pokemon has an ability where it boosts poison type moves. Okay. And the reason for that is male platypi in real life have a barb on the back of their foot, yeah. which is poisonous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. only male. Only male, yeah. Oh. Which is also interesting because the starter type Pokemon in real games, they're more likely to be male than female. Okay. Which I think is why the poisonous, it still works even if it's female. Yeah. And, but, and the reason that the starters are more often male is so it's harder to breed them later on down the yeah. line. Because that, that way they're meant to be special, like your partner Pokemon. Yeah, okay. What do you think? Um, I actually recognise the name. You recognise the name? But, as soon as it came up, because you, when the new one came out, you mm -hmm. told me all of the starter types. Yeah. And told me, like, which one you picked and, like, stuff. But you don't remember, do you? But, the thing is, I'm pretty sure this is real, but I don't know if I could say whether or not it's the starter type. That's the only issue, but I feel like I only would have heard it because you only really told me about the starter types. So now it's like... I was supposed to say yes, yes. You're gonna say it's real? Um, I recognize it as soon as you said it, so right. yeah. Next we've got this. 
<laughs> what is that? This is Scream Train. <sighs> based, and the pun is Steam Train, but scary. Wow. <laughs> Creative. It is a pure ghost type. Oh, okay. It's just a ghost. Not steel. Not just. Which you, which you would think. Just ghost. No, this is um this is also from uh, the most recent Pokemon games. Okay. It's from the uh, Galar region, which is based on the United Kingdom. Okay. It, this this has another one of those Pokedex entries where it's like that doesn't really make sense in game, but like you know for lore reasons, it's a cool Pokedex entry that fits this general thing. Um, it was thought to have been created when a runaway abandoned steam train went past the graveyard one night. Oh. So that's that's the in-world, like, sort of conspiracy theory lore behind this thing exist this thing's existence. Um, it's probably not true, given <laughs> that, like, this can breed. Yeah. And trains have no... Like, it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, it looks like a train. It probably evolved because there were trains and it, like, evolved this way to mimic those things. Yeah. Um, I do, I like how, like, the, the guard at the front is, like, teeth. Yeah. It's a nice touch. Um, the pre-evolved version of this is called Peekaboose. <laughs> of course it is. So what do you think for this one? I think this is fake. You think this is fake? I do. Any yeah. particular reason? Um. I don't know. I guess, I don't really think they'd. Make a Pokemon out of the, the train. A train. A steam train. Like, and it's cool if they do, I guess it doesn't really seem like... And for England, like, yeah, steam trains are in England. Like, yeah. I, don't know. I think the reason it's also in England is because the London Underground yeah. is a thing there. Yeah, no, still fake. Okay. Fake! So we've got three left. Okay. Three left. And first up, oh, not first up, eighth up, is this! What indeed? What's what your, is that? Well, what's, what do you think it is? What's I'm your first so thought? confused. The more I look, the weirder it gets. <laughs> what What's drawing your eye specifically? Well, originally that red circle in the middle. Yeah. It's like, it's chest? Mm-hmm. What? And what, then... Well, what do you think it's based on? What animal do you think it is? It's meant to be an animal? A kangaroo? No. Just the feet looked like a kangaroo. Mm. I'll tell you the name of it. This is Toxicroak. Croak? Yeah, like croak. A, a, a frog? Like a frog. This is based on a poison dart. That is dart. not a f oh, okay, poison it's based dart on, It's based frog, on a yeah. poison dart frog. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is a poison fighting type. And it is the only poison fighting type that's ever existed in Pokemon. Okay. Uh, it's, it also comes from Sinnoh, the fourth generation. Okay. Um, I think it's I think it can be found in Carlos, which is the sixth generation, which is based on France. And that's worrying because the French eat frogs. Do they eat frogs? Yeah. I don't know if they still do, but like it was, it was a joke. It was a joke for a while that they used to be. Able yeah. To. Um, so yeah, it's based on a poison dart frog, um, and there is it has two methods of um, poisoning its targets. Um, first of all, you've got the the the, the finger spikes, and you also got the the sack on its throat, which is also poisonous. I thought the poison dart frogs are only in Australia. Uh, they might be, but again, like in the early Pokemon generations, they were less concerned about making things that were specific yeah. to those regions and were more concerned about, I have an idea. Because like, again, the first four generations are all based on various areas of Japan. So. Okay. I'm like such an idiot when you watch this. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, time size 2020 no matter what, right? Yeah. I'm going to say this is real. You want to say this is real? Yeah. Okay. Second last one. We've got this. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> What's the inspiration for this one? Ice cream? Nah. <laughs> no? No, it's ice cream. It's totally yeah. ice cream. No, no. <laughs> so this is Vanillox. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh... saw so much disappointment in your face then. Vanillox. I'm going to be disappointed if it's a Sam's. I'm sorry, if this man. is one of Sam's. I'm well, sorry I, if it's I, Well, I came up with a few of these as well. Sam just drew them. I'm not going to feel I'm not gonna feel bad. Oh, I know. Yours. I know. <laughs> um, so this is from Unova, which is the New York region. Okay. Which is hilarious because this is from America. And it's ice cream. America. <laughs> it's America. It's a pure ice type. Okay. There's no secondary typing. It's just ice. Okay. According to the Pokedex, this Pokemon's internal body temperature is negative six degrees Celsius. Which is it's below freezing point. It's below freezing point, but it's also just below the freezing point of actual in-world ice cream. Huh. 
which means that its internal body temperature in game is enough that it will stay frozen. <laughs> despite That's sick. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a nice detail on the Pokedex. <laughs> nice detail, Sam added. No. <laughs> 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 All right. Um. So, Vanillox. I'm just confused as to what that cloud thingy is. Like, is it the the coldness? The, the cloud coming out like, of the the thing in a yeah, second. Yeah. Is head? it like the, is the thing smoking or is it like the cold air thing? You know, when you breathe out and it's cold. It's like, mm -hmm. Hmm. What do you what what do you think? Real or fake? I really want this to be real. Mm -hmm. Like I really do because the, the right buddies just look so cute. <laughs> the, little, specifically like, the one on the right. The one on the right. Look at his little eyes. It's like me. The one on the left kind of is like. Hey. It's just I don't know. Um, I think it's fake. You think it's fake? Yes, I do. Okay. But I really hope it's real. Yeah. Okay, so we've got one more left. Okay. And then after this, we can rearrange if you want to. Okay. So the last one is this. Okay. <laughs> so like... Not what you expected. Zombie huh? Viking kind of thing? Um, sort of, yeah. Sort of a zombie Viking thing. This is Zombita. Okay. It is an ice ghost type. Okay. Um, this comes from Carlos, which is France. Okay. Which generation is that? Six gen. Six. Again, we have another Pokedex entry which probably isn't true, but like based on like m myths and lore that were told in the Pokemon world, this is one of the ones where it's super dark. Okay. Like a lot, of, so a lot of Pokedex entries, especially for seventh gen, where where this Pokedex entry comes from, they're surprisingly dark, <laughs> and uh, the Pokedex entry for this po for Zombita essentially amounts to. If a hiker gets lost in the in the freezing mountains, it is thought to become a zombita. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I thought I'd leave, start with apple pie and leave, leave you on. Which, if it is a zombie, I guess that makes sense. But like, yeah, the name might have sprung up as a result of the myth. Yeah. Which isn't explaining the anime where. Instead of the Pokemon all having sort of vague cries, they all just say their own name. Ugh. What? I think it's real. You think it's real? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, now the more I think about it, the more I think the apple pie thing's real. Because oh, yeah? why would you create two food-based... Like, that doesn't make sense to me That's why you point, would create yeah. two food... No, I need to get rid of one, not add one. Okay, I'm putting Zombita into fake. You're putting Zombita into fake, okay. Okay, that's my first... Movement. <sighs> They're all real. Okay, right now I'm tossing up between... That would be something. <laughs> I bring you in here and be like, which ones are real and which ones are fake? Psych, I've given you ten, ten real, real ones. Vanilla is, Vanillax is fake. Okay. So, oh, of, so oh. of Appleton and Don Dasma, one is real, one is fake, uh, according to you. Okay, Don Dasma, I believe the story behind it so much, and I think it's so cool, but Appleton, just look at him. <laughs> look, look, at, look, look at him! him. <laughs> look at him, he's just a cute little... Cute oh. little boy. Okay. <sighs> okay, I'm going to lock in. What's my gut telling me? I don't know. I'm, okay. I'm not your gut. a rhetorical <laughs> question. Okay, but then I keep coming back to why would you create two food-based... Like, I just feel like you'd be a bit more creative than that. No, but then at the same time, my brain's telling me, no, they created two food ones to trick you. <laughs> I will... I'll say now as well, just... It m probably won't help you decide, but of the five fake Pokemon, three were three Sam came up with, and two were my idea. And he, but he drew them all. He drew them all because I don't have no artistic talent. <laughs> but oh, yes, you do. And, and with the ones that I said, this is my idea. I basically just said this type, and it's based on this. <laughs> and you do whatever you want with it. Yeah, basically. All right, I'm gonna say. Oh. Did you did you collaborate or did you can't like separately come up with things and then send it to him? Like, did you... Because if you separately did it, then that would explain the two food thing. Is this going to help your decision? Yes. <laughs> um, I sent him a list of five ideas, and he, he had it, and he pitched his own ideas to replace some of them. Okay. I'm saying that Don Dasma is... Um, real. So you think that Don Dasma is real? Yep. And that means you think that Appleton is fake? Oh, no. Yes. Okay. Oh. I'll give you one last chance if you want to swap anything around. No. 
I, I, this will take 10 more minutes yeah, if I do, but we're this. sticking with it. Okay, alright, so that's your final list. The, okay. the, the Pokemon of the 10 you think that are real are Delmise, Don Dazma, Farfetch'd, Platterpunch, and Toxicroak. Yes. First of all, Farfetch'd, completely real. Okay, oh, I thought it was like completely fake. I was like, I will punch you. No. <laughs> Oh, okay. So you were correct yes. about Farfetch. You definitely, That's one I've point definitely for heard. you. Okay. Um, what should I do next? Um, Scream Train, fake. <gasps> Did Scream, you create that one? Scream Train was my idea. I was gonna guess that. Oh, I, I, I thought okay. I don't know why, but I thought of Ghost Train. I was like, wait, Ghost is a Pokemon type. Ooh, that's an idea. So, and then, but that was all Sam's idea. He did the um the guard that's at the front of the team. He's good at this. That's so cool. Uh, Toxic Croak is real. Yes. Oh, yes! Oh, Delmise is so not real. I'm already telling you now. Okay, yeah, sorry, continue. Uh, Delmise is real. Really? Yeah, it's real. Frick, I am good at this. Oh, no, that means the last... Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to get it really cranky if Lindra is real. Okay, continue. Um, well, you, Lin I'll say now Lindra is fake. Oh, thank gosh. Is that the one you came up with? It? Nope, okay, that was one of so. Sam's ideas. Yes, I told you. Okay. I'll be. I'll, I'll say this now. Some of the Sam's Pokemon that he pitched were, were things he'd already designed because he made an entire fake Pokemon region based on Westeros, which is the <gasps> Game of Thrones world. Oh, okay. So some of these are Game of Thrones inspired. Okay. Uh, so Lyndra is one of them and Zombita is another. Yes! Oh, I so knew Zombita was fake. I thought you designed that one. Mm -hmm. Like, design as in like... So you've currently got six points on the board. Oh, I, oh my god. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what's next? Uh, Vanillox is... Real. That is 100% a I'm real so Pokemon. I have so many mixed emotions because I really wanted it to be real, but now <laughs> I lost a point. So, so basically, like... you don't lose a point, you just don't get that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Vanillox is the poster child for why did they make this a Pokemon. Oh my god. And when I said to Sam, draw Vanillox, he was, he was initially like, are you sure? Because she's like, it's a big thing in the Pokemon meme world. Like, And I was like, She's not in the Pokemon. I'm world. not in the Pokemon. She's world. not gonna know. <laughs> so you don't get that point, <gasps> and you also don't get the point for Platter Punch, which is a fake Pokemon that I design because I may have told you a while ago I'm designing an Australian Pokemon region. You so <laughs> did, you little. <laughs> no. See when I when I said Platter Punch and I saw your eyes light up, I thought you remembered that. No! Oh! That makes me so... I See, I knew it wasn't the starter for the yeah, new game. It was but Sobble. I, but I knew I heard it. So I was like, surely, maybe I'm just thinking like a generation ago, maybe that starter. Oh, that means... Oh! <laughs> no, does that mean Mappleton and Don Dasmo are both fake? No, it means one of them's real and one of them's fake. I've left it with these last two specifically <laughs> because it caused you so much turmoil. Uh, oh. Okay, no, so Appleton's going to be fake because Vanilla Arts was real. Yep. I hate you already <laughs> for this. <laughs> we might do a second video if this gets popular <laughs> enough. Okay. All right. Which one do you want me to confirm or deny? Appleton or Dondasma? Tell me what Appleton is. Appleton is 100% real. No! Completely real. Why would you pick Vanillox and Appleton? They're both food-related ones. Why did you do that to my brain? Because of this reaction. Oh no! But Dondasma was so good. Yeah, Dondasma is another one that was um uh, from the Game of Thrones inspired thing. The uh, the power lines thing is something I completely made up. Really? Yeah. Just then? No, I oh, I, 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 I came up for, for all the fake ones. I came up with what I was going to say a couple nights ago. Oh my god! Uh, but no, because that's because that's based on the uh, the Pokemon Game of Thrones world. Like even in that own region, it would not be zipping through power lines because no. there are no power lines. <sighs> that makes me so mad. That is lore that I came up with on the spot when I saw this design. And I was like, I know it's gonna get her. I know it's gonna get her. No. World building. So you got six out of ten correct. That's way better than I thought. Yeah, oh you did. You did really well, honestly. Out of point. That's on you because you told me about it. Next time, just don't tell me things. I, I won't tell you things now because oh. we might do a second one of these if this one. Like I said, like I had a lot of fun doing this, and I. Oh, I totally did. This was great. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, should be sure to subscribe if you like this content. Uh, I'm my name is Alice Cuff. This has been Off the Cuff, and I shall see you next time. <laughs>